Anglican archbishops around the world have rejected the spiritual leadership of Justin Welby after he gave his support for a prayer of blessing for same-sex couples, threatening the breakup of the Anglican Church. It seems like the issue is not really about homosexuality at all, but about Justin Welby himself. For a number of years he's been very outspoken on political issues, seemingly attaching himself to every woke, fashionable cause, often jarringly at odds with the values of members of the Anglican Church. Particularly, he's been outspoken about mass uncontrolled immigration, which has had a significant impact on this country in recent years, taking the view that we should welcome everybody to our shores, because apparently the Christian thing to do is to flood this country with cheap unskilled immigrant labour, keeping the wages of the poorest people in this country artificially low and further enriching the wealthy business owning elite. He was also very forthright about the COVID vaccination, supporting and encouraging the jab, stating that it was a moral issue and about loving one another, suggesting that those declining the jab were sinful and immoral. Essentially, for a long time, Welby has seemed more interested in pushing a woke political agenda than immersing himself in his faith, which for a man in his position is pretty indefensible. Regarding homosexuality, it's a secular matter, not a religious one. There's no reason to bring your sexual preferences with you to church and it doesn't have to have any bearing on your relationship between you and your God. The Anglican Church won't sanction same-sex marriage, but so what? An estimated 50% of marriages in the UK now end in divorce. Arguably, when divorce becomes so commonplace, the commitment of marriage itself becomes meaningless, worthless, an empty ritual which encompasses very little more than self-indulgence and profligacy. If a same-sex couple want to live together and have surrogate children, they're free to do so. Their church and their faith doesn't need to play any role in that, and neither does the Archbishop of Canterbury. Welby needs to focus on his faith or stand down, because he's well on his way to single-handedly destroying an institution which is integral to many people's lives. Please do share and subscribe, and support my content via Patreon or PayPal by following the links below this video.